Hello everyone, my name is Om Shah and I'm a legal intern of Lexus & Company. Today I'm going to discuss about the case law that is Chesapeake Bay Foundation vs EPA. Chesapeake Bay Foundation vs EPA is a lawsuit filed by the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, CBF and other environmental groups challenging the Environmental Production Agencies, EPA, decision to narrow the de- definition of waters of the United States under the Clean Water Act. The CBF argues that the EPA's decision is unlawful because it exceeds the agency's authority and and undermines the Clean Water Act's protection for the Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries. The CBF also argues that the EPA's decision is arbitrary and capricious because it because it was based on flawed science and failed to consider the economic and environmental facts impacts of the decision. The EPA's de- decision was made in response to the Supreme Court's decision in Rappanus v. United States, which held that the Clean Water Act does not define waters of the United States as broadly as the EPA had interpreted it. The EPA's decision narrowed the definition of waters of the United States to include only traditional navigable waters and their tributaries, and it could and it excluded wetlands that do not have significant nexus to traditional navigable waters. The CBF's lawsuit is still pending in federal court. The outcome of the lawsuit could have a significant impact on the implementation of the Clean Water Act and the protection of the Chesapeake Bay. Here are some of the key takeaways from the Chesapeake Bay Foundation vs. EPA lawsuit. The lawsuit challenges the EPA's decision to narrow the definition of waters of the United States under the Clean Water Act. The CBF argues that the EPA's decision is unlawful because it exceeds the agency's authority and undermines the Clean Water Act's protection for the Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries. The lawsuit is still pending in federal court. The outcome of the lawsuit could have a significant impact on the implementation of the Clean Water Act and the protection of the Chesapeake Bay. Now, I am winding up this video. If any viewer has a questions regarding the same, do let me know in the comment box. Thank you.